Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. For more than a decade, I've been writing a monthly column in the Mensa publication, The Intelligencer, and uh, of late I've been uh, reading aloud in advance to you um, my next column. And uh, uh, the editor always gives us a theme, and the theme for this month is what the regional gathering spawned. Regional gathering is the, for a region of the country, uh, there's a, a meeting, uh, and we just had one, and uh, this is what uh, my uh, particular argues. I led a session on becoming irrelevant, and um, this is what it spawned. Okay, so it's called What My RG Session Spawned. I led a session at the RG on facing our irrelevance. The attendees' consensus was that many of us might be wise to lower the bar for what we deem relevant. When we were younger, we might have dreamt of changing the world, and if we didn't at least move the needle, we felt insufficiently relevant. But as we get older, despite our mens and brains, our experience in the world generally makes us humbler. The attendee's modal example of a realistic way to feel relevant is one-on-one -on -one relationship, especially mentorship. Some attendees also felt that we need to be gracious in accepting our limitations. After all, even the President of the United States' power is restricted by even more powerful vectors, technological, the media and college-created zeitgeist, natural disasters such as COVID and earthquakes, and man-made ones such as bio and cyber terrorism. Some of the attendees found it easy to accept their minimal relevance to the world. Their implicit message seemed to be that the world won't be much different after they're dead than before they were born, so they'll just try to enjoy every moment. One person cited coming to the RG as an example. Other attendees, including, I must admit, me, find it more difficult to accept our small and especially our dwindling relevance. It seems that fewer people are acting on my counsel. I like to think it isn't a function of my ideas declining value, but an increase in people's insistence on having agency. They would rather try and fail with their own ideas than having a higher probability of success with someone else's ideas. Further reducing my relevance, despite my holding many liberal views, dare one of my ideas veer right of center, I risk being assaulted by the three C's, censure, censor, and cancel. That has been dispiriting, and even twice frightening. So the mob, today's version of the brown shirts, has succeeded in shutting me up. I've now felt forced to confine my writing to what won't trigger the mob into assassination mode. I feel like a little like a boxer who did well in rounds one through six, got increasingly pummeled in rounds seven through eight as society has changed, and now uh, I'm reluctant to come out for the final rounds. As I'm writing this, again, I'm reading you this uh, column, it strikes me that relevance can often be increased through group action. I would love to see Mensa activities aimed at doing something of, well, relevance. A few examples. Create a proposal for reinventing our system of electing or selecting our political leaders. Send it to a major publication like the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal. Find and fix a local problem. It could be as simple as cleaning up a blighted pocket park. Convene a meeting of Gen Xers, perhaps over coffee, over drinks, over dinner, to come up with activities that would yet get younger Mensons involved in a series of constructive activities. I do think it important that, no matter our age, we strive to retain or even increase our relevance, individually and or collectively. Does anything come to mind as to what you would like to do? In any event, uh, those are my thoughts on uh, uh, becoming irrelevant and uh, my next column in The Intelligencer. That meant a publication. In any event, I do uh, welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments, and especially like if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.